Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says the beam of negligible weight is supported horizontally by two springs. If the beam is horizontal and the springs are unstretched when the load is removed, determine the angle of tilt of the beam when the load is applied. Okay, so first of all, whenever you have distributed loads, you try to replace them for equivalent uh, forces to simplify the problem. So you have this 600 um, newton, uh, newtons per meter force and it has the shape of a triangle. So you know that this is equivalent to, let me erase it to make it simpler. This is equivalent to a force acting one third of this distance, one third of of uh, three, which one third of three is one, so that's pretty cool. And it's equivalent to the area of the triangle, which is given by um, the length. So it's let's call this uh, f of the load, f of l, f of l is equal to the area of the triangle, which is 3 over 2 times 600 uh, newtons per meter, so it's times 600, so f of l is equal to 900 newtons. And let me also erase this number. So we have f of l is equal to 900 newtons. So whenever you have distributed loads, just try to change them by equivalent resultant forces, that's my advice to you to make the problem simpler. So now that we have the um, equivalent load, we know that this is the state when it is unstretched. What they want is when the bar looks like this, awesome drawing skills here, you know the spring is gonna be pulling up, the spring is gonna be pulling up, and then the load F of L is gonna be pulling down. So let's call this F of B, and let's call this F of A. And they basically want to know this angle of tilt. <clears throat> so this problem is simple. So the first thing that we're going to do is we can find f of b and f of a because we know f of l, right? And if we take the moments around f of a, you could find f of b. Or if you decide to start the other way around by taking the moments around f of b, you could find f of a. So I'm going to pick this one. I'm gonna do the moments around f of a. So you know that assuming counterclockwise is positive, the moments around a are equal to zero and they're equal to f of l times this distance right here. Now, you know that this distance is three meters, but the distance from c to where f of l happens is two meters because this is one third of three meters, okay? Now, you know that then this distance right here is two meters, right? So you know that the sum of the moments about A, you have the F of L times the distance, horizontal distance right here, which is given by two cosine of theta. And it's negative because it's trying to turn it clockwise and we're assuming counterclockwise is positive. And then we have f of b, which is f of b, and it's going straight up, times the distance from here all the way to here. Now, again, you don't know this length, but you know that 3 plus 3 is 6, which is the length of the whole, um, the whole beam, which would be the hypotenuse of this triangle. So this would be times 6 cosine of theta. And this is uh, positive because it's trying to turn it kind of clockwise. Now, we have, we have two variables here. We know the load, but we have um, f of b and the cosine of theta. But look, we have 0 on the other side. So let's take advantage of that. So let's do 0 divided by cosine of theta is equal to um, 2 minus 2fl. I'm simplifying. Cosine of theta plus uh, 6f of b cosine of theta, all divided by the cosine of theta. So basically, 
I'm dividing by the cosine of theta both sides. Zero remains as zero because zero divided by any number is still zero. And the cosine of theta is cancel out. And uh, I'm gonna plug in f of l, which is 900. So this will be minus 1800 plus six f of b. So we solve for f of b. And you know that f of b is equal to 300 newtons. And we're gonna use this. Just let's find all the forces, but we are gonna use this to determine the angle later. And now that we have f of e, we can find f of a. You could do the moments about b, but that's too complicated. I don't wanna be thinking of angles too much. Let's just do the sum of the forces at y is equal to zero. And that is equal to f of a going up minus the load going down plus f of b. We just found f of b, we already found f of l, let's find f of a. f of a is equal to the load minus f of b. f of a is equal to 600 newtons. Simple. We have f of b and f of a. So, this is the initial state. Initial. So we have the springs right here, holding, and when it is unloaded. Right, but when you load it, this is the final state. We have this going up, this going up, this going down. But we have a distance that each side move, right? And I'm gonna call this, this is B, right? So this, if this is the B side and this is the A side, I'm gonna call this distance LB and I'm gonna call this distance L A. You know that F of B is equal to KB times LB. This is the force exerted by a spring. It's equal to the distance times the, the constant of, of force times the distance traveled. I mean, times the distance that the spring is extended. We know F of B, right? We know f of b is 300 newtons. We know kb because it's given by the problem is 1500 per meter. And we don't know lb. So lb, if you solve for lb, you're gonna get that this is equal to 0.2 meters. And we're gonna apply the same logic for f of a. f of a is equal to ka times la. We know f of a to be 600. Ka is given by the problem at 1000. And la is what we're trying to find. If we solve for la, we get that this is equal to 0.6 meters. So this is important because the beam, I'm gonna draw it again because I don't want all those arrows, travel this much and this much, which is 0.2 and 0.6 and we are trying to find this angle right here we know that this distance from here to here is 0 0.6 minus 0 0.2 which is 0 0.4 right so this is our triangle let me redraw it again sorry I redrew it a million times this is 0.4 we know that the, the length of the beam is 6 meters and we know that this is the angle we're trying to find so basic trigonometry guys I'm running out of space here, so I'm gonna go up here, but basic trigonometry tells us that six, according to this triangle right here, according to that triangle, basic trigonometry says that six times the sine of theta is equal to 0.4. So for theta to say that the sine inverse of 0.4 over six is equal to theta, plug into the calculator and you're gonna get that theta is equal to 3.82 degrees for the angle of tilt. Final answer for the angle and here are the forces exerted by the spring, not that they asked for them.